Hey guys, it's Carolyn from The Stretch Face. This week the focus is all about the feet and ankles. So I'm going to walk you through a little uh, routine that you can do to build mobility and dexterity and suppleness and strength in your feet and in your ankles, which is very important for overall health and mobility and function of your entire body from the ground up. Footwork is not just for dancers, although a lot of dancers really need footwork, um, but all humans can benefit from this, so follow along. I'm going to start with um, just some foot alignment stuff. So I'm going to use this ball. This is a Franklin Method ball. It's got a nice squish to it and it's a really good um, size for this, but you could also use a baseball or a tennis ball. but. Maybe try to find something a little bigger than a tennis ball. So I'm going to place it just above my ankles and really being aware of my inner ankle bones floating up and my toes spreading out. So many people pronate, which is roll their feet in and uh, just lack awareness of the feet. So this is going to help. I would do this holding on to something for balance, but just to show you, I'm just going to free style it here. So we're going to rise up and down and rise up and down and gently squeezing the ball gently gently just to create some awareness of that midline while I'm spreading the toes out and coming up. This is going to build strength in your calves. This is going to build strength in your arch. And after that, we're going to go into some ankle movements. So I like to do this laying on my back. So find a comfortable place on your back and um, let's grab underneath your thigh. And now the key here is to keep the shin bone really, really still. And we're going to flex and extend. Flex and extend. And as you do this, spread your toes really wide and try to fan through the foot. Now, I'm a dancer and I've done a lot of this, so my feet might point more than other people, so please don't compare. Um, my feet are nowhere near perfect. I'm always working on them, but everybody has a different uh, arch um, development. But doing these types of exercises will actually help to develop your arch. Okay, and the more of these you do, you're going to start to feel the muscles here start to work. It might, it might not feel nice at first, but if you keep going with it, you'll get stronger. Okay, and then from there, we're going to do circles. So slow, full circles, really going in. As you come up, you fan the toes, go out and down. See if we can get a full 360 degree circle and notice if you have any sticky spots in the ankle. And then we'll circle the other way. I would try to build up to about 10 circles on each side. You will feel this a lot. And then when you've completed your circles, go back into flexing and extending, fanning the toes. Good. Think about spreading out every metatarsal as you push through the ball of your foot. Good. And shake that out because you're going to probably feel some burning there. All right. And then after that, we're going to do a little calf stretch. So stretching the calf. This always feels great. Pressing forward into that front foot as you send the back heel down. Now make sure that you have proper alignment here. So I'll just face you. So a lot of people will have that foot fanned out. So if you have limited ankle mobility, that's probably what you're gonna do. So let's really work to keep it truly parallel. Knee pointing over the second or third toe as you stretch your calf, okay? And then from here, we can do little push-offs. So we're going to keep your legs straight and push off through the foot and then come back down. So we're using our toes to push, right? Building strength and dexterity in the toes is very important for walking, running, pretty much all movement. So I like 
like to do this one. It's almost like a little jump, yeah? You can feel like you're pushing the floor away with your toes. And then you can add a little bend of the knee. That's gonna open up lower down in the lower leg, more the Achilles tendon and soleus muscle. And you do that with both sides of the feet and then finish with the ball raises again. Yeah, just notice how that feels. You might feel a little bit more stable. You'll probably feel a lot of muscles in your lower leg working a lot. They'll be speaking to you. Nice. And then you can finish your foot routine with a deep squat. So coming down into a deep squat, pressing the elbows back into the knees. Now this might be hard if you have really tight hips, but you know, watch my hip videos and open up your hips and then do this. But this is great for ankle flexion, right? And then in here in the ankle flexion, you can try to flex the toes up and down, flex the toes up and down. And I'm gonna try my best to keep my heart open, collarbones wide. And if you need to kind of release it, you can shake it out and then come back down. Now in this position, it's okay to let the um, legs externally rotate a little bit, but just make sure that the knees aren't caving in, right? We still want knees over toes. Okay, so that's gonna look different for every people, every people, every person. Some people are able to do it completely parallel, but most of us, we're gonna have to externally rotate a little bit and that's totally cool. So getting comfortable in this low squat position is actually really helping your feet. Another thing that I like to suggest is toe spacers. So these little guys, um, you can get these at maybe some drugstores, you can buy them on Amazon. We sell them at our studio in Vancouver. So if you are in Vancouver, you can come get a pair off of us. And they just go like this in your feet and you can wear them around the house and you can do the exercises that we just did wearing these, especially if you feel like your feet, uh, your, your toes are crunched, right? So we wanna try to work to open the toes, get the toes moving um, and they will, they will be happier because of it. Okay, so there you go. There's some foot exercises for you. There's lots of other foot exercises out there that you can try. Those are some of my favorites. Uh, maybe I'll make another foot video coming up soon. Um, so give that a go, see how it feels, and really notice how working the feet affects your whole body. Thanks, have a good week.